In San Jose, the homeless camp called the jungle is no more. Bulldozers and city cleanup crews backed up uh, by police. They moved in at dawn today. They evicted about 30 people still there, despite warning notices posted 72 hours earlier. About 144 of the 200 residents are taking advantage of city services, things like temporary shelter, vouchers for permanent housing. There were no arrests during today's evictions, but there was quite a mess. As Stanley Roberts shows us in tonight's People Behaving Badly. In 2008, a county biologist informed the city of San Jose that there was an increase in homeless activity at an area now known as the jungle. This is how the jungle looked six years ago when I did a segment warning the city that if nothing was done, they would have bigger problems. Yet the city simply kicked the can down the street and very little was done. Right, now this is what you have. What appears to be the nation's largest homeless encampment that looks more like a landfill. Upwards to 200 plus people were living here instead of a sensitive habitat where native plants and wildlife could flourish. This is part of the Coyote Creek where ducks rest on old car tires. This is also part of the creek where so much trash and debris is piled up, it's almost waist high. These people are wading in water that according to this sign has sewage and contact should be avoided. This BB gun that looks eerily like a real gun was found in one of the encampments and dogs and cats are still running about. Empty beer kegs and literally tons of copper wire tubing. What really caught my attention was the sheer amount of bicycle parts and even automobile parts. Yes, these are bumpers. This is what's left of a motorcycle. Here's the front and here's the body. Now, taxpayers will have to foot the bill for this cleanup that could cost more than a half a million dollars, including removing not one, but two motorhomes, taking down tree houses, and taking all these different things to the landfill. There's also a series of man-made canals that are now filled with trash. I walked through the entire encampment and found something that looks like a schoolhouse, even with a window. And this area has a handwritten sign that reads, come in, you will die. San Jose is one of the richest cities in the nation, yet we have people living like this. And to all the people that sent me messages about helping, here's your chance to put your money where your mouth is. In San Jose, Stanley Roberts, Crown 4 News.